Hello. Today we ask a question. Why is it sometimes so dash tricky to invite people to church? This is an instructional film to educate you, the modern congregational citizen. Good day, Sebastian. Will you help demonstrate this instructional film to educate the modern congregational citizen? Sally ho, yippity dap and zing zang blip. <laughs> yes, I will. There's a good chap. Carry on. Appeal, propose, encourage, persuade, prevail upon, invite. How does one find the courage? How might one go about it? Who should we approach? We will now explore this often daunting enterprise. Firstly, a few important foundations. It is not rocket science. There is no requirement to undertake years of scientific research. Neither does one need to be a professor of petition in order to succeed. Your invitational methodology does not need to be elaborate, extravagant, magnificent, or stupendous. Keep it simple, Sebastian. This is a useful acronym that I've just invented. Thank you, that is a useful acronym you've just invented. Yes. Yes. It's always a good idea to begin in prayer. After all, any help from head office would be jolly useful. But seriously, start by praying for somebody you know that you can invite. Once you have someone in mind, why not try using technology to administer your invitation? A modern telephone should do the trick. Adopt a friendly, courteous tone. Remember, your voice can convey warmth like nothing else. Admittedly, on occasion, it would be easier to be able to write and send an instant electronic message. But one can only imagine a future where that sort of technological marvel is possible. Dream on, Sebastian! Of course, one must never assume somebody's no for them. You never know when it won't be a no, you know? It's also wise to avail oneself of any opportunity. For instance, next time your chums visit for sherry and games, why not extend an invitation then? Try to avoid being overly cacophonous, clamorous, and bumptious. This may cause bewilderment and befuddlement. I feel bewildered and befuddled. A simple gentlemanly conversation will more than suffice. <laughs> Always remember to be clear about the details. Oh, hello, old chap. Would you like to come to church? Yes. Oh, see you then. See you then. Your guest may also have their own assumptions about what churches can be like. You can help alleviate any anxiety by conveying a more accurate depiction. Finally, why not arrange to meet your guest at church a few minutes early? This simple act will help put them at ease from the outset and will help make them feel welcome. Well, Sebastian, your demonstrations have been most helpful. I expect many viewers of this instructional film now feel inspired and empowered to go and invite. Thank you, and cheerio!